who uh, uses air tags? Not me. Uh, but do you know who does use air tags? Every stalker in the world. Apparently. Well, apparently. But why aren't they using tile? How come we don't hear about that? I don't, I don't, I don't. Uh, because. <laughs> stop. Stop pressuring me. But air air tags bad. But just air tags. Apparently, Apple has uh, responded to the numerous news articles talking about uh, air tags. Um, and now I can confirm this is a real thing. I'm gonna flash some articles of uh, people doing things like silent air tags. Uh, I remember watching a TikTok video of a girl who had an air tag planted in her like in her car. I was notified like 30 minutes ago that an air tag was following me. I found a little tracking device behind my license plate of my brother's car that I've been driving. I think one of the key takeaways for me is uh, they're trying to work with law enforcement because yeah, who wouldn't? Then, then they also have uh, more frequent warnings for people who use Find My or whatever and blah 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 blah. Tuning AirTag sound, but again, there are people selling AirTags without speakers so they can do things to people. <laughs> Even before all of this fur, right? Uh, Apple decided they were gonna to put their foot down. And Apple rarely does this, and I, I was honestly stunned. I was stunned when I heard this. It was this. They released an Android app which is to help people find unknown air tags near them and using air tags uh, on Android. <laughs> uh, can can we take a moment to consider how that conversation must have gone at Apple headquarters? It's like, okay, guys, we need to make an Android app. Who, who here knows how to program Android? No one speaks. <laughs> well, speaking of people who did speak, we have a nice solid 1500 reviews with only two stars. <laughs> which tells you exactly what people think about Apple's application. This detection is an inaccurate joke, says Max. Is no help to actually helping me find the tag. On top of that, you need to manually scan where Apple devices do it for you automatically. I should not need to uninstall an app from the company I am trying to protect myself from stalking me to prevent myself from being stalked. Tracking this accurate is should be illegal. I feel like I'm being punished for not using an Apple device. Um, can I also raise a separate qu or a separate issue? If you have someone who legitimately stole your device, so you're at a coffee shop and someone runs past and steals your backpack, if you have an AirTag in it, you have that AirTag in it so that you can, you know, get your backpack back from a thief. But if a thief has an iPhone or has this app, after 10 minutes, uh, they can just find the tag and remove it. Uh, at least for for theft prevention, it kind of defeats the purpose of it. And and say 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 it's something that you I don't know your gym bag when you're at the gym. Uh, well, for something like that, well, it's going to be a while before you're back in the locker room in order to find your gym bag. So it doesn't make sense. Then there's not really a way for the air tag to be helpful to you unless the person doesn't know that it's there yeah plain and simple apple's thing is pointless and i think that explains the the mountain of one star reviews although i'm half confident most of these are just I, review bombing i mean it does help with misplaced things so like you can't find your keys it won't help you against theft but it will sure help you stalk somebody <laughs> But uh, all these media outlets, when I was just reading through them, uh, I got really angry because they're like, wow, look at Apple being evil. Meanwhile, no one has said anything about Tile. But I think the most egregious out of all of them, no one has offered a solution to stopping yourself from being tracked with AirTags. And that's what I want to cover today. Uh, the app we're going to be talking about today is an app actually developed by the wonderful, wonderful people at the Technical University of Darmstadt in Germany. And it is an app called AirGuard. You can actually get this application on Android from the Google Play Store. But uh, if you are a real Chad, you're going to be getting this app using the open source app store, AppDroid. And all you have to do is scan this big QR code right over yonder. Just let it sit there. And uh, when you use this, this, this store, you can download all sorts of great free and open source applications. And AirGuard is actually a way of doing this without telling Apple that that you you're being stalked by an air tag because i think that's another thing people forget about the app is actually pretty simple they have some screenshots here on how it works 
and they actually have nice built-in notifications on air tags detected near you. Even air tags that are actually uh, frequent frequent near you. So you can actually, so if you are, if you somehow, let's say you have like an Android tablet and a like an iPhone, uh, you can still uh, mute, you can still mute the notification because you're like, oh, this air tag belongs to my my roommate or someone who lives in the apartment right next to me, for example, because. I mean, I assume, that I would hope the person in the apartment next to you isn't planting air tags on you. And so it's just, it's looking for a Bluetooth MAC address that's broadcasting. And if it repeatedly sees that Bluetooth MAC address in multiple locations, then it will tell you that that is following you. Exactly. And that's what we're going to do today. So... Which necessarily, there are going to be some things that inherently would trigger that that are benign so like your car's bluetooth well your car's bluetooth is going to show up in multiple locations but it's not an air tag tracking you so what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to boot myself up into the world of android and uh, we're going to be taking a quick quick look at the application uh, air guard and how you can get it on the F-Droid app store although i don't feel like i need to you can Figure out how to get F-Droid installed. Uh, you're a you're a smart cookie. Uh, there's not and honestly, there isn't really much to do. Just make sure Chrome or whatever is allowed to install uh, non Play Store applications or whatever. You'll be fine. Uh, and uh, so I I already am thinking about ways that you could get around such issues. Couldn't you just have like if you wanted to make uh, a little like. Uh, what's what's the one GitHub page that allows you to make like a boot like AirTag? I mean, but you you can make a fake AirTag, and you do that. Say, say you do that with an ESP32, and then you just set it because it's an ESP32, and you can do whatever the heck you want. Then you just set it to tumble its MAC address. You could just set it to tumble its MAC address every five minutes or whatever, and it will still report its location. But then it doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> Here we are in the F-Droid App Store. All you gotta do is just look up AirGuard. It's one of the one of the very first results. This is the the one that's in F-Droid is actually remarkably close to the one that's in the the Play Store. But as we know, uh, if you use an Android, you should be using F-Droid. F-Droid is a superior. If you can get something through F-Droid, uh, get it through F-Droid. It is a superior app store, uh, open source store for an open source platform. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually just going to hit open. Here we go. Now we have, uh, this is an example of uh, what it would look like. So at the top here, you get this thing where it says, no trackers have been found near you in the last two weeks. And this is when I, when I last ran a scan. Although I should point out uh, this virtual machine is the probably a good, it's the virtual machine. It's not a real thing. I can't connect Bluetooth to it, so uh, it, it won't work. Um, but I think going through the application, at least through this, is a good way to generally get a gist of how this app actually functions. So uh, let's run down this scenario, right? Let's say that you think uh, someone is actually uh, planted a tracker on you, right? Uh, well, unlike Apple's application, they actually uh, present here to you a, a large, a nice long, long list of uh, what you can do to respond when you believe that uh, you are being tracked using an AirTag. Uh, and as well as like what to do in an emergency response situation, right? So number one, scan the AirTag manually and then eventually using, using AirGuard, of course. And to do a scan, what you have to do is you just click this button here to scan. And of course, you need to enable Bluetooth scanning. And in order to get the location dossier, you actually need to enable location services. So this app needs to have location services. And what I'm referring to is if we hop back to the Uptroid page, uh, this is where it makes this nice map where you can go and where it makes these pinpoint locations where the air tag was detected. Mm -hmm. Um, I do need to note though, in my, uh, in testing and from what I've heard from people online, uh, air guard seems to at least, uh, when you do the, the, at least the, like the, the general, the low energy scanning, right? Uh, well, one stuff might not be, uh, might not be found, but the other part of the concern they have about this is, uh, is like, you know, if you do like constant scanning, the reason why they don't do constant scanning, uh, is because, uh, it would drain your battery and Apple's app does do constant scanning. <laughs> you can't turn it off. So there's numerous reviews in the Play Store application of people saying, uh, that there's constant battery drain <laughs> because 
asking Apple to program Android applications is maybe a little bit past their pay grade. <laughs> Apple just didn't put in the effort. They just they just put it there to cover their butts. <laughs> Which if we're just being honest. So you click the button. All right, you click the button. What do you do? Once you have located the AirTag, remove the battery. You know, it's the remo roll clip of it. It's removable. You can remove the thing and get your calculator watch battery out of it, right? Go to police with a tracker, and then the police will probably, and from what I've heard, the police will ask you for the ID number, the serial number for said AirTag. And then uh, make sure that you don't, and now this is an important one just because of this, make sure you don't move to a safe place before you have deactivated the tracker. Because you don't want to get, like say your home, for example, you don't want to give your attacker or your stalker uh, the home, your home, your home by going there, especially when they're trying to track you, which implies they don't know where you live. I, I would argue that that seems the phrasing of that sentence seems kind of counterintuitive because you do want to be in a safe place, but you don't want to be at home or a you don't want to be in a secure well, not place. Not everyone right? has a home, and that's why I think that's a little presumptive, which is why. They so a safe place sense. would be so if you want to deactivate the tracker, don't deactivate the tracker in an unsafe place, i.e. a back alley, you know, the middle of a forest. Do it in the middle of a busy coffee shop or something. Do it somewhere where there are other human beings watching you. Not not like, I, I, I don't know. The, the saying a, a, you know, don't move to a safe place sounds like you should be doing it in the back alley and that just sounds sketchy. So one thing you, you can do is uh, you can uh, actually whitelist your AirTag trackers. If you just click this, uh, so you can just actually detect, so you have to first detect it using the, the scanning feature here. But if you uh, detect one and then you actually know, oh, this tag belongs to uh, one of my roommates, for example, uh, you can actually just, uh, when, you, when it's presented to you in this menu here, um, you actually are given the option on whether or not you want to add this to one of your ignored because uh, it could be a false positive. And another thing too, if you do use this scan in a crowded area, like a, say public transportation, uh, please be aware someone else near you might have one and uh, you might not want to just ring them and give them a spook. What can can it just ring it, you know, without without pinging apples? It, it, it can just ring the air tag regardless. Right. So but if you do it in a crowded area, it leads to false positives. That's what how many do. downloads does this application have? Uh, I don't know, but you shouldn't be downloading it through the Play Store, although they do have a Play Store application. The Play Store version is honestly not as good as it could be. You should just use the, the F-Droid version. And the Play Store version uh, does not have a lot of downloads because people were probably downloading Apple's application thinking, oh, we should just use the first 100,000. Well, he here, here's my thought, you know, coming at it from a, what is the potential abuse that could happen with this application? If you can just like ring an AirTag regardless, how, how long is it going to take before someone takes this application or I, I assume it's an open source application, it is, is but it? What's going to stop people from doing that with Find My? Well, with Find My, Apple has it locked down, and so unless an uh, unless an AirTag has tracked you for like ten minutes, or would, I think it's ten minutes without the device being nearby, you can't ring it. And so with this, you could set you literally could set up like a you know an ESP32, an Arduino, or something that just blasts that hey ring an AirTag signal all the time, and just annoy the heck out of everyone. Well, I guess that proves how well thought out AirTags. Hey, and if you <laughs> if you're the kind of and if you hear that and think that that's a good idea, don't do it. Don't be that guy. Well, if you th if people thought AirTags were well thought out and constructed, uh, let that sink into. To, let this all sink into how it's well a thought out good they were. Premise. It's not a great practical use. Don't go downloading Apple's app app. You don't need it. Go use AirGuard, the world's premier solution to uh, preventing yourself from being tracked with an AirTag. 
Now, whenever you see a news article telling you, oh, uh, Apple's tracking you or people are using AirTags to track you, uh, know there is this out and that there's a solution. Uh, I am sick of these stupid news articles not providing an actual solution. Uh, this is a real solution developed by a, Ger a well-renowned German university, open source for all Android users to peruse. Uh, there you go. I, I honestly think it's despicable that these news agencies, it's really disingenuous for these news agencies to make stories and clickbait people uh, when what they could really be doing is all trying to help people and offer them a solution. Here's a thing. Maybe we can have a little conversation about it. What what do you think the solution to the AirTag tracking problem is? There isn't. The it is it, is it is it even possible to have a solution to that problem? No, there isn't. <laughs> they, they should it's the but it's too late now. The cat's out of the bag. It's not going to go away. <laughs> the cat is kind of out of the bag already anyway because, because... of tile. The cat's out of the bag. People have tracking tags have existed forever and i mean nowadays if you really wanted to you can get you know proper satellite located gps tags that that are you know there's not a way to to see that it's pinging and you can get some of them that are very small or even make one that's really small and and you know stash that on someone's car or whatever but it's it's i guess now because of air tags it has entered the public mind and the small percentage of people or the small fractions of a percentage of people who potentially would abuse such things have gotten the idea that maybe they could start abusing such things. But I guess now the the issue is, is nowadays, um, I, I don't think that you really have a semblance of privacy anyway. So, so, so what? that you you had an air you know someone's tracking you with an air tag they probably if they're tracking you with an air tag they probably already know what your name is and given someone's name and generally the location of where they live as we've discussed before that information is available online already and so there's not really that much like extra information that you can get from that okay it, what if I mean, someone hides their location what if you're someone like me where your employer doesn't even know where you live they just know i mean the, i i they suppose just know the general you... area and let's say you know hr decides some malicious employee who works for hr decides to slip an air tag onto the license plate of my car just like the girl from the video and i mean i i i suppose for some people that is a that is a problem but for the average person the average, no, person, absolutely. Already... the average person should not have to worry about it. That's another problem with yeah. these news agencies covering this. Because this is not a viable threat to a lot of people who have this threat model. Which is ridiculous. Now, if I had an Android phone, I would be installing this app anyway. Because I'm paranoid. And I think it's good to have. But I'm... And... But... And there's plenty of other, like, Bluetooth scanning-esque applications you can get from from the from the from like after it or whatever but i think the the real takeaway is you know your semblance of privacy in the modern age kind of is a joke um, unless you go that far you just need to be smart about it unless just if, don't read the um, news articles. yeah these stupid news articles that just lie to people all the time saying like air tags are the new greatest threat to your, your privacy no they aren't you'll be fine <laughs> well, like and subscribe if you if you want an air tag to track you if you like this video i will personally plant an air tag in your pocket 10 minutes from now you so that he can track you yeah so i can track you you don't even know where i am if, i read the new york times article <laughs> they said i can place the, the thing in your pocket and it's that easy so i'm just gonna go do it i'll find you it's okay <laughs>